Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm being quiet because I don't want to wake up anyone and everyone else is asleep. But I can't go to sleep. So, right now it is 12.25 or 26. And I have a presentation going on for school on Wednesday. But I haven't thought of what I was going to say. <clears throat> and by the time you see this, I will have already done the presentation because um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like be filming the presentation going on, not showing any of the class, but like having you guys listen to it while I presentate it. So I'm not going to show you... Actually, I guess I'll show you the picture so that you know what I'm showing them. But, um, yeah, so the pictures I'm going to be showing them are of my grandmother. Um, and we call her Grandma with the Yellow Hair. So, here are a couple pictures. This is her right there. That's my mom. But that's my grandma. Um, that's her as well, and I have a bunch of different pictures, that one's really dark, I don't know if you can see that one too well, but that's one, here's another one that I'm in this one, that's me, that's grandma. And then that's grandma as well. I'm only covering the face because um, I don't think they're going to want to be in the video. Um, but yeah, so I have not thought of what I'm going to say for the presentation. So I decided how about I write it down and figure out what I'm going to say. So for this, I'm going to need a book, seems pretty good, and a pencil. So I'm ready to write now. So I'm not completely sure what I'm wanting to write, but I know I do want to write like really, um, really good things about my grandma because there's nothing really bad I could even talk about about my grandma. Because I, I love her very much. So, I don't even know like, anything bad I could say about her if I was. So, if I was told to say something bad about her, I wouldn't even know what to say because I love her a lot. And she's like one of my favorite people. That's why I'm doing the fundraiser. Um... So, yeah, actually, before I start writing, I'm going to put my hair up. And I just realized I do not have any hair bands. So, Let's do my magic. Perfect. All right. Now that our hair is pulled up, we're gonna um, start writing down ideas. We're not really gonna be like fully knowing what to write. We're just gonna start by writing down ideas because I'm not completely sure on what to write. As I've already said, like so many times and I'm really sorry I will definitely have to turn up this video a lot um but I'm really sorry um if I do a couple parts to just show you like how soft I'm talking but I will be turning up most of the video so you guys can actually hear me hear me um Uh, yeah. 
so I really have like no idea what I'm gonna write about my grandma and what to write. It's kind of weird how I have all these really good memories about her, but can't, like, I don't know what to write. <sighs> so we literally just have three words. Funny, sad, happy, S pop, sad, just so I can get it out of the way. So a sad part is... I'm gonna make it better. I just kind of threw them down on the paper, but I'm just gonna write it better. Okay, so for sound. sad I said that she wants to see me more but it is hard to do that um, when her daughter my mom doesn't really like her smoking around this is what I'm gonna put I put me instead of us because this is what I'm going to be saying if I said, oh, she wants to see me more and then I said us, it would make much sense. So I'm just going to say me for this case being, um, so I'm going to So I finished writing the funny and then I just fixed the happy. But for funny I says I, I says I said um she always says that every day can be her birthday and when I told her that the Easter bunny wasn't real but it was God in a bunny suit, she was sad and then out of the blue started laughing. Which you know made me laugh, but and then I'm going to do the same with the happy, write it down. Alright, so I'm done with the happy, and I said she always loves to talk and spend time with me, but she also buys us so much stuff which she doesn't have to, but does it anyway, and that's like a happy moment for me because, you know, I get to spend more time with her, and I get to bring this up to where we can see me again. Ouch. But first, I need to take a sip of water because I'm thirsty. I have my book here, and I'm just thinking of, like, what else to write, because I'm not completely sure of what else to write. I have funny, sad, happy, excuse me, these are just ideas, basically, of, like, kind of what to put in the little writing of what I'm gonna say. Um... I have another idea, so I'm gonna write it and I will tell you what it says, just like all the other three. Okay, 
said she was so fun to hang out with at my mom's wedding and was uh, at my mom's wedding she was and is the best of all time and i hope i get to show her this video okay so i finished writing it i'm not gonna show you what i wrote because i really don't want to i haven't filmed the writing yet but I have down basically what I'm going to be writing. I have like a draft. I need to revise that draft. So tomorrow, well, it's already tomorrow. Today, that it's I think May 18th, uh, Monday. Um, so I'll be presenting it on the 20th of the video. So it is now Tuesday. It is 7.22, and, um, draft, because I just did the rough draft, like, I did the rough draft when I was, um, filming that one night, and, um, you know, I've kind of thought about what I want to say, so, yeah, all I'm gonna say is, I'm gonna just, before we start the video, um, and before I start writing, I'm going to put my hair up in a ponytail because my hair is just horrible. Alright, my hair's up in a ponytail now. Um, I'm gonna scoot you guys back and I'm gonna kinda put you like that if we can get you to stay. I don't want you to fall and um, close. I'm just bringing my book and pencil up here. Okay. You guys didn't fall. Yes, I'm in a sweatshirt and sweatpants, but that's just, I can do that. So, you can't really judge me for that. So, as always, I'm not going to show you the rough draft because it's really sloppy. But as always, we have the sad, funny, happy, and then the wedding part. So we're going to get on writing like exactly what we want and the first thing I want to do is rip out the page that has the funny, happy, sad on it um, so that we are able to um, look at it as we're writing down instead of having to flip back and forward with the yellow hair. Because that's easier to write. Oh. All right. So that line is for you. I'm just going to write below that line uh, what I was going to say. So I have to kind of figure out the order I want it in. And I kind of wanted it um, to be funny or like happy, sad, funny. But now I'm kind of thinking <clears throat> because I've already told my teacher that I was doing um, a stop smoking fundraiser for her. I was for my grandma I was gonna I'm like I'm kind of thinking of doing like sad happy funny because I kind of want to start off with the sad part about it like there's not really sad funny happy and then I'm gonna do like the wedding part with the happy so let's speed it up
I'm done with that. I don't need it anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and write this, make it neater and write it smaller. So I will see you guys um, tomorrow. So I decided to share about my grandma. Um, I know I've talked about doing the fundraiser, but I just felt like I needed to talk about it more for some reason. Um, but I thought it would be nice. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show a couple pictures while I'm talking. Um, but one of the first pictures is this. That is my grandma and that's uh, my cousin. Um, but, so, while I was, um, thinking of what to do, I kind of writ something down, so I have a little kind of script over to the side, but, um, so I said something I don't really like about my grandma is that she, feel dis she feels disappointed in herself because she wants to see us more, but because of the smoking, my mom won't really let us see her because, um, my mom doesn't like that she's smoking, um, and something about, um, my mom's wedding, um, so at my mom's wedding, my grandma was there, and it was really, really fun to see her there, and I just really would hope that she's able to uh, stop smoking with what I'm um, doing the fundraiser for. Um, but something that I think is like a happy moment is like when I call her um, and whenever we talk, we talk for a while and then we have so much fun um, on the phone or in person. We play with her dog. Harley, I don't exactly know what type of dog he is, but he is just a puppy, and um, he's really cute. Um, she buys a lot of stuff for me and my brother, which I don't really think she has to do, but I know because she's our grandma, she likes to spoil us a lot. 
and it helps um, kind of tell her um, like ideas for birthday present, Christmas presents, because she lets us pick out what we want so she has an idea of what we like. And I love going over to her place because I don't exactly know, but I think that's her boyfriend. I'm not completely sure. It might be her husband, but that is Art. And um, he's really funny. I love both of them a lot. And one of the funny parts about um, when I was on the phone with her the day after her birthday is we were talking about Easter because her birthday is in April. And uh, she was talking about the Easter Bunny, and I told her that the Easter Bunny wasn't real, except for it was Jesus in a bunny costume. And then she kind of sounded sad, and then really, like, out of the blue started laughing. And it's funny because her reactions to a lot of the stuff that I say is, if it's supposed to be sad, she'll act sad, and then she'll start laughing. And she also says a lot of the time that every day can be her birthday, which um, to me is really funny. <laughs> so that's what I was going to say. Well, the last time I talked to her was Mother's Day, but I also saw her on Mother's Day because she came over to drop off the pictures because I didn't have the pictures with me, so she brought them from her house. And because I had asked her if she could um, stop by my mom's house, which is where I was at the time. I'm at my grandma's house, or my grandma and grandpa's house right now. But she stopped by, and her farm is out really far away from Hillsboro and Tigard. So she has to drive a while and she has a cow farm and I love the cows. I named a lot of the cows. So I remember most of the cows. Um, and it's just really fun to see her um, because I don't get to see her a lot. And so it's fun to talk to her and see her in person. So the last time I saw her and got to talk to her was Mother's Day. Well. Sorry about the noise in the back, but I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching the video today. Um, I really enjoyed sharing that with the class, even though there was only four or five people plus the teacher on. Um, I don't what to do. guys. Bye!